Hi guys, for making an obstacle avoiding robot, I am using Arduino du Novae for prototyping and my final rendition will be using a clone. We require a cast wheel for supporting the front part of the chassis. Two useless CDs or DVDs for the base. A robot using these is known as Coasterbot. A hot glue gun. A lithium ion polymer battery, this is 8.4 volts, 2200 mAh. You can use a substitute like AA rechargeable cells. A permanent marker and a scale, a basic multimeter. A medium sized puff board, the one I've used have single copper pad with 0.1 inch spacing. A plier. Two large size continuous rotation servos, these are 1.7 kg ones. Solder stand and cleaning pad, this is optional but use it if you have. Solder, I recommend you invest in a quality pack having flux core. Soldering iron, I've used a 30 watt one. An on off toggle switch as shown in figure. An ultrasonic distance sensor with PWM output. A standard USB cable for loading code into the Arduino chip. And I've used these plastic wheels for locomotion. To start off, make a line along diameter of the CD as shown. Next I am checking the dimensions of the servo to place them on the CD. The length is 4 cm, height is about 4 cm as well and the width is 2 cm. Now I am making marks on the CD. Since we are laying the servos horizontally, make a notch according to the servo's height. Now we extend that notch into a line according to the length of the servo. Note that the extension of the line on both sides is half the length of the servo. Here I've placed the servo on the CD to ensure a perfect fit. Do similar process on the other side of the CD as well. Here's what you'll have after the step is completed. Place servos on the CD. If you are unsatisfied with the placing, now is the time to change them. We won't be able to change them during later part of the construction. So make sure you are happy. Next I had to prepare the wheels by enlarging the central cavity so that it fits perfectly tight on the servo axle. You can attach them by using servo horn and screws. It's your matter of preference. Next I place two CDs together to get an idea regarding length of the board and placement of caster wheel. The conceptualization process is now complete and we start hot gluing the servos to the first CD. Here's the result after hot gluing the two servos. Now apply some hot glue on the caster wheel as shown in the figure. Apply hot glue to the target location on the second CD as well. Press the two firmly together and reinforce the joint with general serving of hot glue from the top. This is what the result should look like. Next we make a mark on the first CD where we want to join the two CDs. This step is crucial so ensure you find right length and position the CDs for good balance on the bot. You will want to have enough space to house electronics while keeping the frame sturdy. Here's the final marking. Make sure you cover at least half of the CD area. Note that I have now attached the wheels to the bot. Apply hot glue on the mark CD and press the two CDs firmly together. Reinforce the joint with hot glue. This is what the bot should look like from the top. And here's the bottom view. Next, I design an Arduino clone on a piece of puff board. You can easily find circuit for this on the web. This is the mount for the ultrasonic sensor. It consists of three header pins soldered on a strip of puff board and three white wires running from it to Arduino clone. I've used hot glue to stick pieces of puff board in this shape. I've also added some hot glue at the bottom of stick to mount the CD. Here's the bottom view of Arduino clone. All that remains now is to put pieces in their place. Firstly, place the battery on the chassis and Arduino clone on the top. Apply hot glue on the bottom of the mount and to the front part of the CD as shown. Press the two firmly together and reinforce with more hot glue from the side. Find a suitable place for the toggle switch at the back side of the bot. Using hot glue, switch the switch to the chassis. Next, I soldered the ends of the switch to circuit on the puff board. Finally, plug in the ultrasonic distance sensor and connect the battery with the circuit.
In this part, I'll be explaining the code. We declare the use of server library and define two instances of it as myServer1 and myServer2. Next, we declare some variables for use within the code. In the setup function, we attach servo instances to pins on the Arduino board. In the loop function, we send a square wave pulse on the ping sensor. Next, we convert the received pulse duration to physical distance denoted by distance centimeter. We check if the value is greater than 1 to avoid stray readings and if distance is greater than 10 cm, we instruct the bot to move forward. Else, we instruct the bot to turn by moving both servos in the opposite direction. This concludes the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.